morning. So I just finished up in the gym. This has been my training regimen the last few months. Um, I've lost 15 pounds and I'm in pretty damn good shape. So, you know, we've been preparing for the 1000 for some time now. And uh, since the 500, the fact that, you know, I've improved this much is a pretty impressive. So doing everything we can to be ready for the 1000. So, Iron Woman, 2019. Parker, Arizona, and we just did some day testing, just checking over the truck. We found a little bit of things that are really good, you know, obviously the whole truck gets taken apart by guys or brothers, and they repep the whole thing, especially for this race, because it's such a big one, for 1,000, and now we're doing some light testing. This is my first time officially testing with uh, Baja Designs, so I'm excited to actually learn the proper way to light test, because I've never really you know, race in the nighttime, and I've always trusted other people to set up the light because I never knew what I was doing. Because you know, we've only been in this truck this year, racing nighttime, so it's kind of new to me. So, I'm gonna learn something. What we'll do is we'll stack the LP6s just outside of those, and that'll help give you all your near midfield distance. Okay. So. Right here we got the Onyx 6 Plus. This is a 110 watt light. So we got two of those up front. We got two LP9s. These are gonna be key for distance up front. And then we got two LP6s. This is gonna fill in your near field, mid field, distance, and your dust light. Right now we're gonna aim the, uh, these are really the dust lights. So bring those up a tad so we can utilize them a little bit more. This is gonna help cut through the dust. Basically, you know, you want to shut off all your white light when you're following somebody. This is going to let you see the track, really any train recognition in front of you, and you're going to be able to basically see through the dust. So, today was a 
success. Baja Designs is absolutely awesome. Thank you, Jessica and Chris, who came out and helped us. I learned a lot and got to play with the lights, and for the first time, I feel confident in our lighting, so I'm super excited about that. The truck rode great. We were going, I think at one point, we got to like 109, 112, something around there, so that's pretty good. Um, feel good. Feel really good. Steven absolutely killed it on the prep. The truck, it's 100% gone through. We have a new engine this race. We have a new engine all year. So that's exciting, some power. So now we're headed to my dad's house in Havasu to go stay the night. And then we're gonna recollect tomorrow, kind of come up with a good plan with all of us, our team, and then go back to Baja. So this is just a pit stop along the way. Where are we? An Arco. This used to be a PMEG, so we're a little confused. This is our hot spot. Usually have breakfast at the Roadrunner across the street. Best breakfast in the world. But this is first day of pre-road for us. Well, two and a half. Kinda. So we're gonna do a lot of mileage today. I think like we're trying to do 250. If not, we're gonna do 150 to 200. But we're on the same fleet base side, so the rest. Not as completely underwater like to where we couldn't go any further through an uh, intersection because it was gonna start coming in the truck <laughs> it's so bad I guess they haven't had rain like this for a very long time and that just means that the course is getting washed out and probably gonna be very hard to even get through at this point okay ladies and gentlemen this is our price current points leader Right here at a beck and call. They're awesome. What are you doing? Pam, I am. Just kidding. Uh, hopefully the mud just wants to fall off the truck and keep it off as long as we can. Extra weight. It's harder on tires, harder on everything, so the longer we can keep the weight off, the better. Mud. 
Hey, hey, little boy, come here. Get over here, we need you here. Dude, we're only here because of you. Yeah, so usually for a prep, it takes about two to 300 hours. For this race, I would believe we're up in the 300 area just because we look at every, every little piece of connector and bolt came off and half of the wiring to updating some stuff, new motor, new tranny, diff, um, and testing, and then shocks, and just trying to make sure that everything is, you know, the best that can be for the race. So, you know, Sarah Iron Manning, it, it, that sounds wrong, first off, so, so we're going to, we're going to Iron Woman it. Um, you know, she is, uh, she's got a big um, thing in front of her. Um, I've raced for 30 years. For her to do this race, I would say if it was a peninsula run where it's more a lot of graded roads, a lot of stuff. This race, I believe, from what I've been hearing, is all technical, pretty slow. Um, she's gonna have a lot to. She better be on her best, best behavior, best uh, you know, athletic. Best. Uh, she's gonna have to you know have nutrition stuff during the race, but. Uh, I believe in her mind she can do it. No doubt in her mind yet. Yeah. And you know what? We're we're gonna back her 100. Um, percent We asked if she needs to sign somebody else up. She said no. <laughs> so that means that she's pretty much uh, she's gonna do it. A lot of people are doubting it. A lot of people are saying, you know, what are you? You're in charge of the team. Why are you letting her? Why are you? I go, you know what? She's done a great job. I believe she wants it, and uh, it's going to be her turn. So.